You can't take a human being and put him to work at a job that underuses the brain and keep him working at it for decades and decades and then say, well, that job isn't there. Go do something more creative. You have beaten the creativity out of him. But if from the start children are educated into appreciating their own creativity, then probably we can, almost all of us, be creative. Just as in the old days, very few people could read and write. Literacy was a very novel sort of thing, and you felt that most people just didn't have it in them. But when you indulged in mass education, it turned out that most people could be taught to read and write. In the same way, <clears throat> if instead of having mass education, as we now have, must have, with a curriculum, once we have outlets, computer outlets in every home, each of them hooked up to enormous libraries where anyone can ask any question and be given answers, be given reference material, be something you're interested in knowing. From an early age, however silly it might seem to someone else, that's what you're interested in. And you ask, and you can find out, and you can follow it up. And you can do it in your own home, in your, at your own speed, in your own direction, in your own time. Then everyone will enjoy learning. Nowadays, what people call learning is forced on you. And everyone is forced to learn the same thing on the same day at the same speed in class. And everyone is different. For some, it goes too fast. For some, too slow. For some, in the wrong direction. But give them a chance, in addition to school, I don't say we abolish school, but in addition to school, to follow up their own bent from the start. Well, I love the, I love the vision, but what about, uh, what about the argument that machines, computers, dehumanize learning? Well, as a matter of fact, it's just the reverse. Uh, it seems to me that it's through this machine that for the first time we'll be able to have a one-to-one -one relationship between information source an information consumer, a one-to-one -one relationship between information source and information consumer. For the volume of a sphere. Four thirds pi times the radius q. One point two six. Any limbs. What is the square root of two million three hundred ninety-six thousand three hundred twenty-four? One thousand five hundred forty-eight. Dimensionality equals the logarithm of n divided by non-excludability and non-rivalry. Four thirds pi times the radius when it is morally praiseworthy but not morally obligatory.